Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Near. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, I do want to mention that I have two donation links down below in the description. If you want to support Ukraine, you can do so by going over to the official websites I linked down below and you can donate to the funds directly. Of course, that is if you want to do that and you are able to do so. Thank you all for the support and thank you for sticking with the channel. So jumping into the daily chart for near protocol, I haven't done an update in around about a month. So we have a Fibonacci retracement over here. Here is the swing high and the swing low. The 1.618 target from that was on um, at $2.90, the 1.618. As you can see, we had a beautiful retest of that level and we started retracing to the upside. We ran into the swing low here as resistance, right? So you lost the level here. You came back to retest it as resistance later on. And from there, you landed on the 1.414. You had a retracement above it, and now you're coming back down. So potentially, we are going to be looking at a nice double bottom pattern here if we don't lose the 1.414 Fibonacci retracement level. Now, there is always the chance that we will. And if we lose this low, then the double bottom pattern is going to be invalidated. So keep that in mind. Below, we have the 1.618, which is still a valid support level. By all means, we can crash down to these prices below $3 for near token. And I could see that happening, obviously, black swan events could happen out of, you know, out of the blue sky and you won't see it coming. So just be ready with some cash, be ready with buy limit orders set up in advance. But if we come back down here and retest this level, I don't think there's going to be anything wrong with that. I'm also thinking about getting into near at these prices below $3. That would be a great entry point in my opinion. So once I'm done accumulating some of the other altcoins that I'm buying, then I might look into buying near. So that's regarding uh, the major key support levels. Also, what you could do is you could take another Fib retracement. So take this high that we printed in August and take this low that we printed in June. And in case we start losing this low, which could happen by all means, if we start losing the low that we printed on June, we could get more targets to the downside based on this other Fib retracement. So the 1.618 here perfectly lands on the second Fib level of the large Fib. So obviously, if you start losing this low here, you're going to be targeting the 1.618, just like we did on the large Fib, right? If I zoom out, just so it makes more sense for you. As soon as you lost this low here, right? You have your swing low, you have your swing high. As soon as you lost this low over here in May of this year, your technical target was the 1.618. Zooming into the smaller fib, if you start losing this low, you're going to be taking you're going to be looking at $1.82 and a half cents or $1.85 approximately. Never have round numbers in your limit orders. So that is the second fib level for the large fib and the 1.618 level for the smaller fib. So there's a lot of confluence in this area. Also, let's just zoom out and see if this yeah, as you can see, we do have some trading uh, going on in this area. And yeah, this is the support that we retest. Uh, well, yeah, this was the resistance level, I should say. And this was a support back in June of 2021. So hopefully we don't lose the load that we printed last summer because that would be even more negative, more so than losing this one because this is your local bottom and this is your major bottom here last, um, last summer. But near is... An interesting project. There are definitely some questions regarding, well, some questions that I have regarding the stable coin, but it's a good project to be involved in. I'm not going to expose, I'm not going to be exposed to it too much. I'm not going to be exposed to any project really too much because that's just not safe. But investing just a little bits and pieces into near that would be some that would be something that I'm interested in, you know. So obviously you have before the 1.618, you have a couple of levels before that. So your minimal target is the 1.272 at $2.36, then the 1.414 at $2.12.5, and the 1.618 here at $1.82. So those are your support levels in case we start losing the low that we printed on, on June. 
but I think that would only happen if Bitcoin starts going below $17,000, okay? That, at that point, altcoins can just have these large wicks to the downside and, you know, it's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy volatile. So as you can see, we lost the channel up pattern that we were in. We back tested the support of the pattern as resistance and we're coming back down from there. So we're landing on the golden ratio right now as we speak. And this goes to show that this golden ratio is an important level at $3.84. And as you can see, we have landed on that level in August of two, uh, August 29th. And we did that over here, just going slightly below it in, uh, what was that? In July, and we retested this level as resistance in July as well. So this is the golden ratio and this is how it works because it has the most resistance out of all the levels now once we lose this level there is a high you know a high probability that we're gonna retest the bottom here uh, of the channel right because once you lose the uh, fib level or the golden fib level and then you're probably you're more likely to retest the 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 swing low and if you're breaking to the upside and you break the golden ratio level then you're more likely to retrace all the way up to the swing high. So that's just the logic behind it. That's how it works. So yeah, just keep an eye on these levels. And yeah, as you can see, I just, this is the golden ratio of the smaller FIB, obviously, not the larger FIB. The golden ratio of the larger FIB, however, is at $9.74. And that has been a nice support level for us back in January of this year. And in March of this year, we held those levels as support. Obviously, we haven't seen the back test of resistance yet after we lost them in May. So if we start a relief rally into November, uh, we could potentially see a, you know, nine to $10 per near token with enough bullish momentum. And it would be safe to say that we might even retest the golden ratio here before heading back down in December or January, right? I'm expecting uh, a nice recovery into spring of 2023. At that point, the energy crisis will have been uh, not solved, but it will have been reduced. Uh, like all the problems are going to uh, be drastically less important, if I could say that, because we're going to be exiting the winter season and things are going to be getting uh, a bit hotter. And that means governments will have more time to start printing more money. But on that Topic. I can, you know, talk a lot about that, but here we're not going to be talking about that because we're here to talk about near. So as you can see, we did retest this support level I gave you in the last update on August 21st, and we retested this level on August 27th, just a couple of days later. And from there, we had a nice bounce to the upside, and now we're coming back down. So this level at 36.02 on the index is a good entry zone, in my opinion. You also have the buy zone. Um, at 33.5 all the way down to 28.6. So as you can see, every time you have entered this buy zone and even below it, after that, you've seen a massive move to the upside. So if you are looking for a short to mid-term uh, trade, then be on the lookout for us retesting this zone. Once we do that, you can enter and take some profits, but not a financial advice. Uh, I would honestly suggest buying for the long term at this point because uh, you even if you make those 50 bucks per day while you're trading, it's still not going to be uh, comparable to what you can make down the line long term if you invest and dollar cost average on red days. But that's just my opinion. Obviously, I do swing trade sometimes when I can, but mainly I'm staying in crypto and I'm going to be in the markets. It's always better to be in the markets than not to be in the markets because if you are in the markets, right? And let's say you bought even uh, you let's say you buy right now, right? You buy right now. And if the markets take off, great, you're in the markets, you can take profits, you know, 10x, 20x, whatever. But if you're not in the markets right now, and you're thinking to yourself, well, Bitcoin's probably going to go to $5,000, which I don't think it will. But there are people who think that and they're not entering the markets, they have no expo exposure to the markets. And what that does is, if you see a pullback, and you're thinking it's going to go lower and then it reverses into the bull market and it never comes back to those prices you're left down here with your cash and you're missing out on all of these gains now i'm not telling you to fomo in but if you buy in right now which still are good buying in prices for near if you buy in right now 
and we see a further dip, let's say even 10%, even let's say 20%. So isn't it better to wait out a 20% dip and probably dollar cost average during that dip as well? Isn't it better to wait it out and enter the bull market with your coins rather than trying to catch the bottom, probably failing at that and staying with your cash while the markets reverse into the bull market? I think the answer is very obvious here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for near protocol. If you want to get some nice resistance levels, I will go through those as well right now. So I'll take this price tag. So obviously major resistance level at $5.09 and a half cents. Another resistance level over here, which is the swing high of the smaller Fib retracement at $6 and 10 cents. Then we have the 786 at $7.95 and we obviously have the golden ratio at $9.75. So I would say that uh, coming back up to the uh, to the six dollar ten cents range is possible within the next you know four weeks, right? Depends on how bullish we are. As you can see, the moves can be very, very quick and very strong. So I would say we could potentially retest this level in the next in the next couple of weeks so that's a nice 57 percent trade however i would wait a little bit after we get the details regarding the fomc meeting tomorrow or i, I think that's going to be on thursday so thursday is the day when we can potentially dump so i would be waiting and i would be cautious you know if you want a dollar cost average in right now i actually bought into the markets right now with just a tiny tiny piece of what i have and if we dump in the next you know coming days i'm gonna buy in more so just be careful with with how you buy in and yeah that's pretty much it thank you all for watching if i missed out anything important on the charts please let me know down below in the comment section feel free to follow me on twitter and feel free to join me on patreon you get a lot of exclusive content there including my low cap gem calls my trade alerts and a weekly podcast where in the last episode i took a look at my portfolio which i have never done before so feel free to check that out i'm gonna catch you in the next one peace out